Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The journalist in a Ibom State has proven that uh, the case of Femi Fani Kayode assaulting um, their fellow journalists is still as fresh as fresh tomatoes in their mind as they have decided to take another step against him as he tore a Ibom State to estimate and also to see some of the projects that is uh, currently ongoing there we are going to give you details of that but before we continue if you've not subscribed to our channel kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos on youtube the controversial nigerian politician and former minister of aviation femi fani kayode arrived with your Aquaibum state on wednesday for the continuation of his private tour of projects embarked upon by state government in the South South. But he may be having it difficult taking to the praise about his talking to the praise about his tour of Aquibum State as journalists in the state have taken his decision to boycott any activity that Mr. Fanny Kayode is involved in as a retaliation for his recent verbal attack against a daily trust reporter a your charles in calabas cross river state mr femi fanny kayode during the press briefing which was held in a private hotel and moderated by governor ben ayade spokesperson chris christian ita told mr charles he was stupid for asking him who was bankrolling his store in line with the disposition of the national leadership of our great union, the state council has directed that no journalist should attend a media party with Femi Fani Kayode or any of his activity at any location in Aquaibum State. The Nigerian Union of Journalists Aquaibum State Council said in a statement Friday morning, the NUJ is not part of the visit. The statement was signed by the NUJ Chairman Amos Etok and the Secretary Dominic Akwan. Mr. Etok told us that journalists in the state did not need Mr. Fani Kayode to tell them about Governor Udum Emmanuel's performance. According to him, he said, we already know the governor's performance and we are satisfied with it. Abasi Freke Fiong, the managing editor of Don Newspaper Uyo, said journalists in Nigeria must stand up for one another against people who are out to insult them and denigrate the profession. Whatever action NUJ in a quiet state takes in relation to FFK's visit to the state will go a long way in defining our self worth as professionals and will shape the way other members of the public will deal with us going forward. Meanwhile, the NGJ in Cross River State has blacklisted the Cross River State government over the Fani Kayode incident. The union, which also blacklisted Mr. Femi Fani Kayode, took the decision after an emergency congress on, t on Thursday. The communique issued after a union congress said the press briefing when Mr. Stephanie Coyote attacked the Daily Trust reporter was an illegal one by the Cross River State government. The communique was signed by the NUJ chairman in Cross River State, Victor Undu, the state secretary of NUJ, Oka Ibo, and the chairman of the communique drafting committee, Richard Ndume. The union said it was sending a letter to media organization asking them to pull their reporters out of the government house caliber and also for them to stop converting the activities of the state government until the issue is resolved. Con Congress restates its total support for the stand with the Daily Trust correspondent A.O. Charles on the question that resulted to the unprovoked outburst from Femi Fani Kayode. Congress also directs the state council to issue warning letters to members who attended the press conference and did not do anything to protect their colleague, after which each of them is to individually write an apology letter through the state council to the national leadership of the union with a firm promise never to violate the rules and regulation guiding the journalist practice, journalism practice. 
Congress hereby resolve that henceforth all press briefing by any individual, public or private organization must be held at the NGUJ Press Center unless, as may be directed by the State Council, the communique said. Wow, this is a great move by the journalists. That's the NUJ, Nigerian Union of Journalists, because uh, the truth is, when, if you don't value your thing, nobody will value it for you. And guess what? That's the exact truth. And I, at the point, I was of the opinion that the governor of the state would have come out to address that issue and try to put succor, if not coming out to do that personally, but his media aide would have done that, coming out in the media to address that issue and try to uh, create a balance so that um, no one will be offended. But nothing has been done about it. Just to show you that journalists in Nigeria, they are fully, you know, trivialized. They just look at them as those who are hanging around to get information and possibly also some monies from anyone who needs uh, their own attention. But I think that the step taken by NUJ in this direction is a very good one. I think uh, Femi Fani Kayode will learn his lesson. Some persons may say that it's actually a step towards frustrating his uh, tour, private tour, or is a step towards ethnicity. But I can assure you that there's nothing like that. Uh, of the truth, if um, you want to go through the track record of uh, uh, Fanny Kayode with journalists, this is not the first time he's doing it. There are videos that I have personally seen where he will use the same words on journalists. And there was an occasion where I think it was on Zoom or so, where he had an interaction with a journalist and was calling the journalist's name. And the man was demanding an apology from him that it's obviously very wrong for him to insult him. And the man told him, have I used such words on you before? How dare you use those words on me? And he repeatedly said it. And there are other different, okay, and guess what? A lot of people are also coming up with all kinds of, you know, ills that he had uh, done to their life. On one occasion, somebody was talking about him flogging, you know, him and all of that. So, you know, I feel that at this point, if the journalists do not show their self-worth by distancing themselves from any occasion that have to do with Femi Fani Kayode, he will not learn his lesson. We've seen cases uh, in the in Senna claim like United States of America where they talk, just journalists stand up and ask the, you know, the president some very funny question. If you feel like not answering the question, there's nothing wrong. You just keep your mouth shut. Not to treat people as if you are actually the one feeding them. And you're not feeding anybody. In Nigeria, seeing someone walk down the road and without coming around you to beg you for anything, I think that alone is enough for you to respect the person. Because Nigeria is not a place where you pick up food all by the roadside. Neither is it a place where even the government of the day will help you out in any situation. Whatever you have to face, you face it all alone. So for you to see me manning enough, walking down the street, it therefore means I have the capacity to take care of myself and possibly with some dependents who are around me. So even if you're flying in a helicopter, even if you have a private jet and all of that, to your pocket, my brother, I'm not eating from your house. If I ask you a question and you feel it's really downgrading or you don't like it, you keep your mouth shut or possibly in a very coded term, just talk to the person and that will be the end of the day. You know, so I, I feel that he's going to learn his lesson, but this time around, it's going to be a rough one. Guess what? As I'm talking to you, most of the things that we've heard some of these Fulani haters, uh, their leader leadership doing, they keep pointing to Femi Fani Kayode how he had uh, brutalized their own, you know, uh, uh, ethnic group in his uh, social media platform and all of that, you know, to show you that it's, it's not a good, if you go to his social media and check out the things he said about the current government, you'll be greatly shocked that that same man couldn't even take a pinch of what he has been giving people in Ghana must go and also in Loris. He couldn't even take it, you know. So I, I, it's the step taken by the journalists. It's a good one. And I feel that it's a message that had been sent out to all and sundry out there who are planning to, you know, <laughs> disrespect journalists with what has happened to Femi Fani Kayode now, where he's not going to be, any of his thing is not going to be published in any national daily, except possibly, I believe at the point, if he comes out via maybe some social media to apologize, 
or possibly invite that young man that he talk not a young man because the guy says he's 53 and also a bishop in one of these churches lumba lumba bu invite charles ayo and bishop charles ayo let me put it right bishop charles ayo give him a handshake and hug him as a brother and say well sorry that was just i have a short fuse as he had rightly said and the thing just got out of place sorry that i treated you publicly i apologize for whatever had happened and then he will be accepted but if he feels that he can't do that automatically he will continually see rejection from all quarters especially when it comes to media however that's where we'd like to leave it go to our comment section let's interact